Commence firing. Commence firing. Commence firing! Next time, leave me in your foot locker. I don't mind the noise, but the intensity of the heat combined with the humidity makes this inferno oppressive. What'd he say? What'd he say? It's hot down here. Then why don't he say it? The heat from the shells penetrates right through these gloves. I used to know a girl in San Ysidro, and her name was Lolita. Yeah? She used to have real cold hands. She would make one good hot shell man. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Come on down, take a load off your feet. A man your age has got to take it easy. Oh, Griff, don't call Grandpa so old, unless you think it is his high forehead and the wrinkles and the false teeth that make him look so old. You kidding? He's old enough to remember when we had a Republican president. <laughs> age improves a man, just like it does wine. Surface action port, drain out and match up.
Resume firing. Resume firing. So, Mr. Phillips. Have the division officers assemble in the wardroom. Ten minutes. Hey, amigos. I hate to bring this to your attention, but that island is still floating. That's the island behind the one we just sunk. <sighs> Cigarette? Are you kidding? My mouth's so dry, it's a fire hazard. Emerson, if you got a cold beer in your pocket, I'll take it. Rip, if you're gonna start yapping about beer again... Look, Grandpa, at your age, you've already had your quota. Me, I'm young yet. Gotta have a little liquid to put steam in my boiler. Ever try water? The Navy can make me live on it, fight on it, swim in it, wash in it, but it can't make me drink it. Why don't you run up and have some tequila with the skipper? Yeah. If he had any heart, if he had any heart, he'd break breaks, and he'd issue a couple of cases of that beer we got stashed below. You know something? Ten to one, we never get to drink that beer. Ten to one? Yeah, ten to one. Ten dollars to one dollar? Yeah, and I ain't never lost a bet on this ship. It's a bet. Shake. Oh! What's the matter? If you were in the bull ring, you wouldn't need a sword to kill the bull. You'd strangle him to death. <laughs> <laughs> very funny, very funny. Hey, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Champagne. Sparkling burgundy. More likely yesterday's dishwater. Oh, no. You drank that last night. That was the soup. Coffee, poor man's beer. Look, you can't even pour it. You gotta push it out of the pot. Felix, how come we get room service like this? You are my favorite gun crew. And besides, you look like the easiest ones to do business with. Uh-oh, five to one, he wants something. No bet. I think you're right, it's going to cost us. Yes, but not very much. You know, I am an expert on this gun. I've read everything about them. I know them inside out. I would like to be part of this crew. Uh, theoretically, that isn't feasible, Felix. What did he say? Nothing yet. Well, Felix, we have a full gun crew. Besides, you've got a steward's rating. But I can do both jobs. Don't be a sucker, Felix. You stick with a chow. That's an important job. Yes, it's important, but not for Felix. The Japanese move in my house on Mindanao. I want to do everything I can to change that. Felix, we'll squeeze you into the mouth somehow, someday. Thank you. All right, man, let's stack up that empty brass. Hey, Mr. Phillips, how are they making out on the beach? How'd we do? They've established a strong beachhead and already pushed in seven miles. You men did a good job. Yeah, well, we can let the army move in and we can go home now. California, here oh, I come. Oh, 
Uh, this isn't over yet. I think we better stick around a little longer. Oh. Now, there's an officer for you. You know, for my dough, Phillips was doing okay as acting captain until old metal Happy Hale relieved him. But it so happens that Admiral Nimitz and not you is running this fleet. Yeah, well, if Phillips was still our skipper, I bet we'd be headed for home by now. What makes you so sure? Phillips was with us for two years, doing the marshals, Iowa Jima, St. Pan, Guam. He knows we need shore leave. What does Hale know? Nothing. He's been our skipper three days. Perhaps Hale wants to go home, too. What, him want to go home? Nah. That skipper's gonna hang in these waters till he's got so many medals hanging from his chest, he trips over them. Then he's gonna tie a rocket to this can and pssst, invade Mars. Well, I can't conceive of our not going home. Psychologically, we're not fit for combat. We are on the verge of battle fatigue. Uh, I think we'll go home, hail or no hail. Five will get you, ten we don't. Ah, uh, you're a pessimist. What did you call me? Relax, Grip. That's not a dirty word. No. Oh. Okay, but I'm gonna check it. Hey, Delgado. How come you joined the Navy? There ain't no dames on ships. When I was very little, I used to hear these sailors talk about her all the time. I didn't know they meant the ship. This is Isabel. What do you think? Brother, if I were with that kind of destroyer, I wouldn't care when I got home. The ship has been through plenty before I took over, and it shows it. Number three gun mount is hunting an elevation. We're working on it, sir. Mount one was fired twice during the bombardment, Mr. Caleb. What happened? I'm not sure yet, Captain. What Navy do you think you're in? You get in touch with the Emperor and tell him to well you're ready. The fault will be corrected immediately, sir. Captain Hale, without meaning any disrespect, sir, during the last two years, we may have developed a few weak spots, but I know we're as good as any ship in the fleet. Can you say that for the morale of the men? Well, that'll pick up once we hit stateside, sir. And if we don't? But, sir, there must be other destroyers... Yes, Mr. Phillips, there are. And many of them are at the bottom of this ocean. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, now, the second phase of this operation calls for picket duty further out. Now, all these ships equipped with radar are forming a circle around Okinawa as a first line of defense to protect us against the enemy who might be attacking our convoys and supply ships. I have reason to believe we will be assigned to such duty. I didn't think the Japanese had much left to attack us with. Okinawa is one of the Japanese home islands. Do you realize we're only 800 miles from Tokyo, 400 from Formosa, and 500 from occupied China? Which means they can toss more planes at us than you've ever seen. You've heard of the kamikazes, of course. Yes, sir. Planes piloted by half-trained kids who don't have to know how to land because they never return. Special suicide corps. They don't care about anything. They want to die. They live to die. The most effective weapon the Japs have, kamikaze. Kamikaze, divine wind. If it comes to that, sir, I think our gunners can handle a few. If it comes to that, Mr. Phillips, we'll have to be prepared for hundreds. Hundreds of men committing mass suicide? Is that possible, uh, Captain? You'll know it's possible when they come at you. Explosion? Yeah, I thought it was a skipper blowing his top again. Hey, Emerson, what's this book of yours about? The evaporator blew up and took a steam line with it. Yeah, I'm so scared I think I'll jump overboard. Where's the pictures? Don't you see? This means we'll have to pull into Karamaretto for repairs. And by the time they complete the job, this assault on Okinawa will be finished. Ah, uh, we'll be heading for home. Yeah. Five will still get you 15, we don't. 
Well, I don't want to seem dogmatic, but I strongly believe we'll be home before the first of the month. Yeah? Put your money where your mouth is. Take them up on it, kid. Okay, it's a bet. Shake. Um, What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing that a good chiropractor can't straighten out. <laughs> Sit down, man. Sanders? Yes, sir. How long will it take to make those repairs? Three days, sir. Of course, with the special equipment at Caramaretto, it might go faster. How long will it take without the special equipment at Caramaretto? I don't know offhand, sir. I hadn't counted on that. Well, Mr. Sanders, I think you better start counting on it. We just got our orders. You join the picket line and fall into our slider way hunter tomorrow. Think you can make it? I'm afraid not, sir. The way our fleet is deploying at Okinawa, it's like one big chain, and every ship is a link. If we pull out now, it means breaking that chain. Well, I've estimated it will take three days to repair the damage, and that's chopping one day off the time it would take ordinarily. We have to install a whole new steam system. Well, that's very good, Mr. Sanders. If you save one day, maybe you can figure out a way to save two more days. If you look at this diagram, sir, you'll see what the job entails. I remember I bought one of those Cracker Box Essex one time. There was a book came with it, told you what to do in case of motor failure or any other kind of trouble. I was driving through Montana. It was one of those Indian reservations. The radiator sprung a leak. So I got the book out, went through it from cover to cover, did everything it suggested, nothing. Do you know how I fixed the radiator leak? With a wad of chewing gum. And believe me, when I sold the car five years later, it was still all right. There was never another leak. Well, pardon me, sir. You're, you're not suggesting we repair a broken steam line that way. I'm suggesting we start chewing. Maybe if we combine our gum, we'll come up with a wad big enough to turn the trick. I had an idea of taking a part of the fire main from that rear compartment. That might be an idea. Look at this. Those lines aft are three inch same size as a steam inlet. Now, if we remove just this section, we can save a welding job in that steam line. Well, what will we do for pipe aft? We could tie these lines together with a length of fire hose and bypass the section we take out. Hey, this book of Emerson's. What about it? It's got no pictures. Ain't that something? Nothing to read. You know something? When I go home, I'm going to buy a big ranch and settle down with Maria. What about Isabel? Isabel? Yeah, maybe it's better I settle down with Isabel. But you know, though, it takes a lot of hands to run a big ranch. Hey, Grandpa, you think they allow Navy veterans to have two wives? Uh, not for me. A guy could lose a lot of sleep that way. Well, maybe I'll take it easy and live in the Mojave. I have six cousins who live in the desert. They have nothing to do there, so they don't do anything. How do they get money to live on? Who needs money? My cousin Gustavo says that only in the city people expect something for nothing. In the desert, people expect nothing for nothing. Works out very nice. What's that you playing? A love song, but it has no words. I'm going to write the words for Maria. Don't forget Isabel. If I get home in May, we can be married by June. Maria? Isabel? Lolita? Carmencita. She's the rich one. Of course, I wouldn't marry her for her money. But how else can I get it? I gave you a report to delegates, sir, that we're in our slot position. They want to know if we're repaired and ready for action. Tell them we're ready. We're ready? It used to be a game I played when I was yeah, a kid. You say, yeah, ready or not, ready here I come. Oh, the captain hails you. Give you some action up the line. Jackson, William Red, Delhi. We'll repeat on point 306. We'll repeat. Army. Must have been a walkie-talkie. I don't like it. The Army hasn't run any trouble ashore. <laughs> any guy in the Army's got enough trouble without looking for more. 
Fourth day and hardly any casualties. Maybe the Japanese have pulled out. Oh, no, no. That island's too important. They'll fight like maniacs to hold that. Then they'll send the kamikazes over here, and that'll be a real picnic. We'll all be at the soup. Get the army inland, cut off the supply. Tank, send tank. Resistance heavy. Send tank. Position 306. Yeah, that sounds like action. This is the beginning. This is the real beginning. Replacements on line 306. Replacements. Urgent. Flank gone. Now our fun will start. And if we're not ready, get me the engine room. Silas, where is it? We're ready. We're all set to go. That's the end. When you try another one, maybe your luck will change. Oh, man, I ain't held such bad hands since that last blind date I was on. <laughs> well, that means you owe me your next six months' rations of beer. Yeah, but if I lose once, Morty, I'll have to vote dry. <laughs> hey, poker? Anybody else for poker? Huh? How about a little honest labor before you get deck happy? Attention, men. This is the captain speaking. We have just received orders from the fleet commander. At 0800, we're going on picket duty to protect our landing forces from possible kamikaze. We're not going home. Yeah. You owe me five bucks. Grandpa, that's one bet I hate to win. Kamikazes. We're not going home. Well, I didn't want Kamasita's money anyway. What's the matter with that fouled up skipper? How can he take this old ship and put her into action? Broken evaps, busted steam line. Well, we'd be sitting ducks on a pond for them kamikazes. The kamikazes are the only weapon the Japanese have left. That means they'll go all out with them. Yeah, I heard them kamikazes was a bunch of hopped up kids. They gulp a couple of gulps of sake, they tie a red sash around their bellies, and pfft, they take off. Kids. That's all they are. Just kids. Uh, I don't think there's any veracity to those stories about the kamikazes. What'd he say? Just kids. Huh? Skip it. With the evaps out, what are we going to use for drinking water? Or boiler water? Beer. Beer. Hey, you can't use beer in a boiler. Why not? They convert water into beer, and the Navy's figured out a way to convert beer back into water. Over my dead body. Waste all that beer? Look, half of all the beer in this ship belongs to me. I want it fair and square at poker and bet. Nobody's turning my beer back into water. Nobody. Relax, Grip. I was only kidding. Yeah. Well, don't kid about the beer. Chiquita is the one. Why didn't I think of her before? What? Chiquita. She's the best cook. Delgado, will you listen to me? I, I listened to you fellows once over two years ago. Since then, you've been saying the same things over and over again. It is very important for me that I devote all my time to making a decision. Besides, it'd be a change from Navy Chow. Isn't that right, Emerson? What? Don't think so much of the kamikazes. I was asking what you think of our Navy Chow. Oh, it, it's palatable. Yeah, I see you haven't given the matter as much thought as I have. You see, I've already graded the Chow according to types. There's a one Chow, good Chow, Passable chow, eat it to stay alive chow, and eat it and drop dead chow. I like it better when you talk about the girls. Grip, don't you ever think about anything but girls and beer? I think about other things. Like what? Huh? Well, like, like old metal happy. Delgado's got the chow figured out, and I got the skipper figured out. He's just like that captain we saw last week in a movie. What movie? You know, that story about the, uh, uh, the something on the something. Oh, the mutiny on the bounty? Yeah. Well, our skipper, you see, he's one of those split the personality guys. One day he pops in in a very businesslike type mood, and in a very businesslike type way, he will say, What Navy do you think you're in? Then, of course, on another day, he's in a very deep in thought type mood. And in a very deep and thoughtful way, he will say, What Navy do you think you're in? <laughs> and then, of course, sometimes he gets in a very angry mood. And he will say, What Navy do you think you're in?
go right ahead. Sounds very instructive. Well, sir. I, sir. The men in the gun mount are always shooting off about something, sir. If it isn't the gun, it's their big mouth, sir. Don't misunderstand. I'm not offended. Seems to me your judgment's a little hasty. You haven't known me long enough to form any opinion. Wait till you know me better. Five to one, I get a court martial. <laughs> Looks like another false alarm. Why don't those Tamakatsis come and get it over with? You don't have to beg for them. They'll come. I don't mind the fighting. I just hate waiting. I tell you... Seagulls. Oh, he's waiting for the birds. All hands secure from general quarters. Set condition three. Watch one. That's at the site. I haven't been in and out of the sack so many times since my old lady carried me where I wanted to go. up and down and hit the sack. I don't want to hit the sack. Why should I hit the sack? As soon as I hit it, they'll be calling me topside again. You look like a nervous father. Okay. Okay. I'm nervous. You know, Pat, it's always the same way. When I was a kid, waiting for the other guy to throw the first punch. Don't worry. After that, I take care of myself. Donde está el hombre? que tiene el poder y destreza de detener la torrente de la voluntad de una mujer porque si hay siempre no lo logra de eso puede estar seguro que si ella no quiere no hay quien lo logre Hey, love letters. What was that you were singing? What does it mean? Shall I tell you in English? Yeah. Find me the man who has the power and skill to stem the torrent of a woman's will. But if she will, she will. You may depend on it. And if she won't, she won't. So there's an end on it. Understand? What'd he say? Uh-huh, I knew there was something wrong with this operation. Look, Grip, each ship's in a position called a slot, right? And we're number eight here, right? Too bad we ain't got a bathtub. Then you could have a real ball to play with your boats. Listen, Roberg, see if this doesn't make sense. 
Our picket line is deployed around the island. And now we're supposed to send up a screen of fire to keep the kamikazes from flying in and attacking the rest of the fleet and supply ships. Yeah, that makes sense. It's what the captain told us. Yes, but the captain and the whole naval command have been woefully neglectful in failing to take one pertinent fact into consideration. Look, spectacles, if you got something to say, please say it simple. Well, they've made a blunder that's frightening. They've overlooked the fact that the kamikazes can fly clear over us, out of reach of our fire, and attack the landing forces. That means we're absolutely useless. Who's useless? We ain't useless. Well, look at all the ships we got in the picket line, and not a sign of one kamikaze plane. It's ridiculous. Oh, our intelligence is badly misinformed. Well, if we do run into the kamikazes, they'll pass by us just like we're not here. I doubt it. This will go down as the biggest fiasco in naval history. Two to one, the kamikazes come at us. How can you refute the logic of my argument? Two to one, the kamikazes come at us. Emerson, I guess he's refuting your logic. But I'm right. Two to one. OK, it's a bet, but no handshake. <laughs> Anybody else want to bet? Anybody want to bet? Hey, love letters. How about you? No, I don't like to bet. But you should have met Ramona. Ramona, she used to like to bet. Ramona? She's a new one, huh? Yeah. Want to see a picture? Yeah. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. Brother, has she got a built? I used to truck grapefruit from Arizona and Nevada to California. <laughs> Knew every dame and every beer joint and bar along the way. That's the way you meet the real homey kind. The ones you take home to mother. The only thing I ever took home to my old lady was a bottle of beer. Oh, you inherited the thirst, huh? Yeah. I had me a real system. You see, every time I stopped off for a beer, I went out, you see, and got and ate a half a grapefruit, you see. That way, I got a jag on and alkalinized my system all at the same time. Cold, sober, and thirsty by the time I got to the next bar. Brother, I'd give a lot for a cold beer right now. That's why they made you a sailor. They figured any man who soaked up as much liquid as you have couldn't possibly drown in a dinky little ocean. And you know something, Grandpa? Right under us here, right under this very deck, we're stacking cases of beer. Just a little hunk of sheet metal separating me from heaven. You're a little mixed up in your directions. Heaven's the other way. Nah, no, not 3.2 heaven, Roberg. Roberg, tell me something. How could a smart guy like you put up with the Navy for 20 years, having them tell you what you gotta do and what you gotta not do? It just doesn't bother me. I don't let myself get fouled up emotionally or mentally. Huh? Look, a man starts out in life with a fresh brain, a clear conscience and no problems. Now, by the time he's 25, he's confused, mixed up, and bitter. Now, if he's lucky, by the time he's 60, he can just about get back to where he started as a kid. Me? I just avoid being 25. You understand? Nah. I still can't figure how a guy like you can put 20 years in the Navy. It's like this. I'm loaded with brains, but just haven't got any talent. 20 years. Didn't you ever want to settle down and have a home and a wife? I got a home and a wife and four kids. Yeah. I'm closer to my family right here than a lot of guys I know who live at home with theirs. I hate this waiting. Psychological warfare, they call it. The kamikazes are playing on our nerves. I told you, there won't be any. That guy's worse for my nerves than the kamikazes. Restrain yourself. If the kamikazes do come, they'll fly right over. But personally, as I said before, I don't think they're coming at all. Delicate reports an air attack on its way. Pokies closing in from northwest, 50 miles north of Point Polo. Go to general quarters. Go to General Quarters. All hands, General Quarters. Man your battle station. Down the front. Can I catch 
Patsies don't come this time, I'm going up to find them myself. I told you there won't be any. Ah, uh, shut up. Nothing yet. This was the third false alarm. The whole fleet doesn't get an air raid warning without a reason. I still say we'll never see a kamikaze. What a confused operation. I hope my grandchildren never ask if I fought the Battle of Okinawa. We're picking up skeezies, Captain. One of the ships in line ahead of us. Delegate, this is Skeezix. We've just been hit in Foxhole by a suicide plane, suffering heavily from fires and explosions. Skeezix has the ship in number three slot. Delegate, this is Dagwood. Delegate, this is Dagwood. have been hit twice. Heavy casualties. Request medical assistance. All ships in the north end are getting it. The way things are going, we'll be up there ourselves, alone. Delegate, this is Ali Oop. Delegate, this is Ali Oop. Have taken seven hits by suicide planes. Both engine rooms hit. Fires out of control. Forward. Little Abner, this is Delegate. Little Abner, this is Delegate. Stand by, Ali Oop. Delegate, this is Little Abner. We can't stand by, Ali Oop. Engaging ten suiciders. Blondie, this is Delegate. Over. That's us. Blondie, move immediately to Roger Peter number six. Over. Give him a will call. Delegate, this is Blondie. Wilco, moving to Roger Peter number six. Out. What a waste of time waiting for the kamikaze. They're not coming. Waiting for these kamikazes reminds me of a Christmas when I was little. Christmas? At Christmas time, the parents used to tie vases on a big tree outside. They used to fill the vases with candy, sometimes with nothing, sometimes for a joke with rocks or water. Then they would blindfold the little kids and give them a big stick. They would swing the stick around, trying to knock the piñatas out of the trees. Well, how's that like this? With a gun mount, like those little kids who are blindfolded, we cannot see anything. The gun is our big stick, we fire it. We don't know if we're going to hit anything. Sometimes we knock something out of the big tree up there. Like piñatas, it comes falling down. Only there's no rocks or water in it, or even candy. There's human beings and people. Now that I think better, it's nothing like Christmas at home. Hey, Delgado, you ain't in the pool. What pool? We're betting five bucks a man. Closest one to guess Roberg's age wins all the dough. Roberg's age? Mm -hmm. That's a closer guarded secret than radar. Oh, you know that bracelet he wears? Yeah. He's got his whole history printed right in the back of it. Well, he's always got it on. Someday when he's snoring, I'm gonna sneak a look. You want in? Yeah, I say he's, uh, 45. 45 for you. What did you guess? Forty-one. Oh, boy, what a dopey guess. I put my five on 47. And ain't never lost a bet on this ship. Relieve the watch. On deck, watch one. That's us, boys. The up and down the ladder brigade. They're moving us up to a new position. Yeah, I wonder why. There's your reason. We're probably going to replace her. It looks like the Harrison. Can the taxis? No, 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 they've been hit by shore batteries. Martinez is on that ship. He has a ranch near our place along the Rio Grande. At best the time we sink together. He's closing it. Bridge, this is combat. Radar contact. Bogey, 50 miles north. Closing. All hands, general quarters. Man your battle station. Zero, two, three, range, 15 miles, closing. A control. 
Will the target come within range? No solution yet, Captain. But it looks like he's coming right at us. There's one coming at us. Captain, he's broken off. He's heading further east and out of range. Secure, boys. He passed right over us. Close, but too far for these guns. They don't want anything to do with us. I told you they'd fly right over, didn't I? Navy's here. You army fugitives can go below and pound the sack now. Look. Damage below deck, sir. Take over, Philip. Steady as we go. I'm going below to check. Aye, aye, sir. What's the damage here? The near miss damaged important supplies, sir. What kind of supplies? The beer, sir. I'm bankrupt. Forget the beer. You men clean up this mess. And don't use your mouth in the operation, or you lose your action. What's the matter with you? Hurt? Just sick, sir. Here's my beer, you want grip? Oh, no, you don't. I want my beer in a bottle. I didn't say nothing about bottles. This is my beer, and I'm paying off. No, we're even. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, shall I get you some hot food? This is cold. No, no, thank you. Guess we'll save our appetite after the war. Every man happens to be fighting the war. I don't follow you. Sir, I've been trained to man a five-inch gun. Oh, Felix, let's not go into that again. The only time you'll do that is when there's a casualty. Let's hope you never have to leave the galley. Aye, aye, sir. 
Did you want me for anything else, sir? You know, Phillips, if my kids could see me playing with these, they'd think I was playing a game with toys. A game of toys. Well, I guess maybe that's what war is. Take all these little ships that represent the big ones and move them around. One side goes bang, bang, the other side goes bang, bang. They destroy one of our ships, we splash one of their planes. Kids have the best of it, though. They play the same game and nobody gets hurt. Maybe kids ought to run the world. What do you think? You have two girls, haven't you, sir? Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Yes, I was... I was kind of disappointed, Phillips. I wanted boys. Wanted them to play football. I see. With the army. I wouldn't want that to get out, Phillips. Oh, no, sir. You follow football? Not much. I'm a hockey man. Oh. Play cards? A little. Pinochle? Cribbage. Mm. Any children? No, sir. Oh, they make life worth living. If I haven't any children. I'm not married. <laughs> That's a pretty logical reason. Well, it's beyond me. What's that, sir? How a man with no wife, no family, no interest in the football, can't play pinochle, could get to be my executive officer in the Navy. in a new skipper. Bridge, this is combat, radar contact, 40 miles north, closing. Rain up, match up.
got into some rough weather. Well, Emerson, I'm sorry. I was only kidding. No hard feelings. Jay. No! Why don't you keep those big paws yourself? I didn't even touch him, Grandpa. Well, I just took his hand, honest. Emerson. Son, let me see those hands. They're like hamburger. Quick. Help me get under the sink, man. Supplies were burned in sick bay. Lost most of our plasma. We're still in business. We're going to call for help. We're sending over the garbage to take off the wounded. I better do it in the next few hours. Sure you got everything straight now, Felix? Oh, yes. I only hope that I can do as good a job as you. Well, just don't lose your gloves. Thank you very much. Howdy. Hi. Oh, just briefing your new club member. How do you feel, son? Oh, fine. Amigo, I'm very envious of you. All you have to do is loaf and think of the girls. Ah. <coughs> Emerson, we hope that your complete recovery is intimate and that your wounds prove to be completely infinitesimal. What do you say? I got it right out of your book. <laughs> I'm very happy to serve with you, sir. Sir? You don't have to call Grandpa here, sir. Unless you think he's so old, he rates special respect. Now, why don't you leave him alone? That's the closest I'll ever come to being an officer. You see, Felix, it's this way. We just let Grandpa think he's the boss of the gun mount. We shove him up outside where he won't get in the way. I'm really the top brass. You're top brass? Why, you muscle-bound truck driver. I've gargled more salt water than you ever sailed on. Felix, don't listen to either of them. They're both sheeping water. I'm the man you salute in gun mount, too. I've got connections in the galley. I can get extra sandwiches late at night. Well, hail to the new chief of gun mount, too. What are we waiting for? What kind of fighting is this? Relax, Griff. I don't want to relax. What do you suppose is holding up the garvey? We've got to get those wounded off. She's on the way. Well, Mr. Phillips, I guess the whole war is one big wait. Waiting for the kamikaze. Waiting for the garvey. Waiting for orders. Well, I suppose it's getting the boys down below, too. Yes, sir. I, I think we all feel the same way. Run a movie for the crew. What? Sure, it'll make the waiting easier. Oh, you haven't seen our film library, sir. Exciting things like uh, the care and maintenance of the five-inch gun and uh, naval defensive tactics number three. I've got a very interesting film that I've been saving. It's stored away. I think this is the proper time for the men to see it. Well, you're not going to ask the men to sit through a training film now. Well, it's very good for the men under me at Evo. Well, but, sir... Got a good message. A lot of morale stuff. Immediately, Phillips. Send the men down in relays. Aye, aye, sir. All right, run it when you're ready. Mr. Phillips, what is this picture the old man wants us to see? Oh, it's on tropical fever. I beg your pardon, sir. Does it tell you how to get it or how to get rid of it? I walked in and asked a gentleman, could I please keep warm? He asked me, how come a baby dog has no comfy place to go. So I told that kindly gentleman my tale of war. Every baby needs a dad, dad, daddy to keep her worry free. Every 
baby needs a dad, dad, daddy. But where's the one for me? Rich or poor, I don't care who. If he hasn't got a million, then a half will do. Every baby needs a dad, dad, daddy. Could my dad, daddy be you? They never find a cure for it. <laughs> Sir, we just intercepted this message on the main channel. Does the captain know? They were sent up to him direct. Read this, son. To Lieutenant Commander Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Jr. Father passed away this afternoon. He did his job to the end, as he would want you to do. Bless you all in love, Mother. FDR was one of the best friends the Navy ever had. He was one of the best friends I had. You knew him? No, sir. But he was one of the best friends I had. ロコビさんで、さ。What are you looking for? Nothing. Nothing. I, I was just stretching. Oh, hi, fellas. Hi, hi, hi Admiral. Admiral. How are the hands? Oh, they'll be OK. Listen, something important just came up, and I thought you fellas might like to know. Yeah? More scuttlebutt, huh? No, this isn't scuttlebutt. This just came over the radio. We're moving up to number one slot. What? Number one slot? Number one slot? How do you like that? Sending this old tub into the hottest slot in the line. Here comes the Garvey. We haven't passed anything but salvage for so long, I've forgotten what a complete destroyer looks like. I'm bringing the wounded on deck, sir. Signal the Garvey to approach our port side. Where are they taking us? It'll be transferred to Garvey as soon as she's alongside, and then home. Great. You hear that, Danny? Can you see her yet? Sure, I can see her. Prettiest ship I ever saw. In a few minutes, you'll be heading out of this man's war. Destination, Rhode Island. Assembly, this is Delegate. Bogey's coming in, bearing 337, now at five miles. They're attacking the Garvey. Look, they can't hit it. They can't. Knock them down, Garvey. Splash them. Splash them. She'll make it, Joe. Splash it! Splash it! She's hit. She got it. She's sinking. 
Lost steering control, sir. Get a report on engine damage. Engine room bridge. Engine room reports no shaft damage, sir. We'll have to steer by engine. Starboard engine, stop. Starboard engine, stop, sir. We can maneuver this way. We won't get any medals for ship handling. Sir, sonar is definite sound contact of submarine off starboard. Squeeze play, huh? Hit us from top and bottom. All right, set depth charges, pattern zebra. All engines ahead, standard. All engines ahead, standard, sir. Sub moving into torpedo range. Stand by, depth charges. Fire, burn. Suicided. Submarine servicing. Keep the guns on the kamikaze. Keep the guns on the kamikaze. Port engine, stop. Port engine, stop. But, sir, that'll take us right into the sub. Stand by to ram, sub. Stand by to ram. Get out of here. Robert, you okay? Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa. You had no business sticking your head up out of there. You understand? I told you. That's a job for nitwits like me. You had no business sticking your head up. Christmas is off the port side. Huh? What'd you say? We're going home. Attention on deck.
How's it going, Emerson? I'm fine now, sir. I understand you were a little off on your calculations on the Battle of Okinawa. Well, uh, yes and no, sir. I still think I had it figured right. The kamikaze should have flown over us and attacked the landing forces. No, sir. I wasn't off. The Japanese were off. I'll say they were off. Off their rockers, sir. No, McCleary. In my book, they weren't crazy, if that's what you mean. They were just kids. They were taught a way of death. Instead of a way of life. Take away their teachings, perhaps their teachers. They could be the same as any of us. Well done, McCleary. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.